Welcome to this very short tutorial in this video. I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of long distance shadow of an item for your graphic design. Sometime you may have no chance for using, you know, chance to use something, so, some sophisticated software like Photoshop in order to create your YouTube thumbnail. So please watch this video till the end so that you can learn how to create a shadow on your PowerPoint software. So let's begin. First of all, you have to find out uh, the um, picture composition for your design. So it's better to have uh, a simple, you know, uh, shape or something like that. So let me remove this red arrow. Okay, I'm simply creating a new slide right here. Let's make the visibility 100% or fit for the display. All right, so here I will remove all the objects of the slide. Let me have a shape, something like this, okay? You need to make sure that the outline, shape outline should be none and a uh, shape fill. You can have your desired color. For this uh, tutorial, I'm using this, um, you know, olive green color, I think. Okay. And now it's time to create the shadow. So basically, if we select any item on PowerPoint, then you will have uh, two types of effects. If you are using any text then you will have text effect and if you are selecting any object then you will have shape effects once you click on shape effects you have shadow so these are the preset shadows and um, outer shadow inner shadow and perspective shadows actually you don't have to work anything right here what we are going to do we are simply going to create the shadow using a new shape okay so click on insert and then click on shape since we are going to add a rectangular shadow which is actually um, going to resemble the distant shadow simply click on this rectangular and try to make it as big as possible uh, try to make it as big as the previous shape remains on the display okay now uh, change the gradient pattern I mean the fill color for this new shape so that it can be used as your shadow of this object one very important tips is that no shadow is actually black or gray every shadow has a color but it's very very dark so that we actually uh, feel that the shadow color is darker like gray or something like that okay now as you can see i'm just simply rotating this shape so that it can uh, resemble as the 45 degree, degree angle for the shadow and try to match this corner with the this uh, this earlier uh, box let me make it a little bigger so here the corner is perfectly aligned with this corner of the previous box now select this one and here is the game or a trick that you have to implement uh, simply select the shape which is going to be used as the shadow then click on format and click here edit shapes you know here you have the edit points section okay uh, one more important thing that before clicking right here you need to resize the shape of this shadow layer I get I, I want to say so click here and make sure it's as wide or simply align this marginal 
level of this shadow okay and now then click here edit shape click edit points then you should notice that the points are actually changed in a different color and shape once you click this one you will have two bezier uh, points as well so if you click here and you can change the shape pattern for this tutorial we actually do not need that thing click here and try to align this point with this sharper area of the main object and once it's almost aligned simply click here okay let me align perfectly uh, zoom a bit more I think yeah a little bit more just right here okay all right perfectly it's aligned and make sure this shadow does not have any outline and now we need to add the gradient color okay so now you can simply increase the size of the shadow and you should notice that this section is also uh, changed to a different position click here once again align this part so you know photoshop does have a very frequent tool for this photoshop or illustrator but as you don't have that kind of software you need to simply comply with this kind of software like powerpoint these shapes are also vector graphics so you don't have to think about the the pixelation i, I mean pixelation or um, you know there is no chance to be this kind of shape pixelated okay now send this shape in the backward i think yeah back and now it looks like yeah, it this is the shadow of this box now we need to change the color of this area click on shape fill and then click on the gradient and then more gradient once you click there and from this palette you need to change the color of your shadow click the first one then select this one select eyedropper and then click right here next one you need to it's better if you can create some darker color like click here then right here or select from more colors you simply draw this this amount of i think the darkest part okay now click ok then you need to select the second one here is it's a gradient color palette so if you select the first color very deep then second one should be less deeper okay and next one is more lighter version of the same color the second one and then click here click eyedropper then click here more colors and then simply add some brightness and okay next one is the third one select eyedropper and then click again uh -oh. right here more color and try to make it far more brighter than any part of this shadow okay so we are almost done with this shadow processing so now since this corner is the darkest part of this shadow now click on this area you will have to be sure that it's linear the type of shadow should be linear okay and from here you need to change the angle okay the closer part is the most darkest part of the shadow and you should notice this portion is slightly uh, showing that this is a shadow you can also keep this shadow as the darkest or you can use a very very dark so that you can 
uh, it, it actually depends on your choice as well. For example, if I simply remove this, this one and only I'm using two gradient color, which is the darkest and another one is lighter. So, um, it depends. You can also uh, change the position of the uh, gradient color right here. You can simply tweak this area. Okay. And then change the pattern of the shadow color. Let's close this area and here, here is your shadow, here is your box. And then click both of them, then control G, G as in go, and then copy, I mean uh, press control and G, G as in go, and then make it a group and then press anywhere in your design. So this is how you can create any shape and its distant shadow on PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this will help you. If you want to get more videos like this, please do subscribe and hit a thumbs up and let me know what kind of tutorials you want to watch on this channel. I will try to make that kind of tutorials as well. Thank you.